Hey, so this video is sponsored by PCB Way. More on them later. I'm gonna test today a very popular set of batteries. The batteries are from the Nissan Leaf. Uh, PCB bus bar with some aluminum reinforcements and then some uh, terminals so that you can use these blocks so you can put these big thick you know zero gauge or one o two o this is a two o cable uh, you can put up to three of those and then a bunch of this the smaller two right so anyways the reason why we're doing this is because these uh, even though they're electric car uh, battery modules. If you use two of these modules, then that makes a 4S, which is 14.8 volts, which is really useful for people who are doing car audio, right? And car audio people want 14.8 volts and they want a lot of amps. And so I think these ones could do somewhere around 600 amps, I think, without sagging much. So today we're gonna load it up uh, with, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000 uh, watts. Maybe 4,000 watts, we'll see how much it sags, how much the, the bus bars heat up. So we started the test. We have around 80 amps on this, which is about 900, almost 1,000 watts. We're gonna add up another 200 amps in there. So now it's 250 amps. Uh, let's see how much the battery sag 3.7 so it's 15 okay so there's less than that's like three tenths of a volt it goes from 15 volts right at 90 amps uh, load right so and then to 250 amps 300 amps and look at that it drops to 14.7 14.8 yeah so about three tenths of a volt yeah, these batteries can definitely do 600 amps without much sag. So now let's see at the thermal camera. Uh, we're going to let it, that run for a few minutes and then see how that bus bar is going to handle the heat. to 105 okay and the voltage still holding above 14 look at that these cells are pretty stiff these are the way to go for audio these are really good uh, we're gonna terminate the test here there we go look and then the battery bounced back up to 14.4 it's only sagging four tenths of a volt right there at almost 300 amps, right? So if you load this up with 500, with 600, yeah, you might see like one volt or one and a half volts of sag. These are really good batteries.